So, so far we haven't seen any differences between uh, using, a, for example, a fresh sample and a frozen sample uh, to inseminate eggs. So we haven't seen any differences on the life birth rate of fresh versus uh, frozen ejaculates. So many patients, for example, who are not available on the day of the egg in, of the egg collection and the insemination, they they decide to um, free sperm as a backup, and then the lab will use that frozen sperm to inseminate the eggs, and that is absolutely fine. The what we, what we always advise patients that they need to be aware of uh, is that the the freezing, although we don't have any indication that the the freezing should it be done, obviously. Um, appropriately in the lab, that's very important that the lab to know how to properly store and freeze the sample. We don't have any indication that the freezing affects the, the DNA quality of that spam. However, the patients need to be aware that approximately 50% of that mortal spam initially found on the, on the fresh sample, on the fresh ejaculate, uh, will, um, uh, will uh, die in a sense that the, that that sperm will lose will lose its vitality, to be uh, to describe this better. So always, it is very important when we freeze down a sample, uh, we always keep a tiny amount on the side. We freeze that tiny amount as well, and then we thaw it. So we will investigate how much sperm survived uh, the freezing process. So. Uh, we will know how much motile spam we can anticipate to find on, 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 on a thawed vial on the day.